first. I'm just start by taking this is the drain tube coming for our from our dehumidifier. Looks like it's still pretty good. So we'll go ahead. And we've already we've already ran bleach. And we've already ran bleach through the line, so looks like it's draining now. Perfect. Right on time. Okay. Now right, that's done. I'm just gonna secure this out of the way. Right here. Okay. I'm gonna start by removing my lid. Look inside this here pump. Now basically our whole main goal is to clean the inside of this, clean the top of the block off, and clean the mud that's been that's been collected at the bottom of the sump pump. So you know, that's what uh, that's our main goal here. And so the first order was to just take off the lid and remove it. Okay. Now we know there's a tad bit of water in here, so we're gonna actually hand activate the lever so it'll start moving some of that water out of here. All right, now that we've got the lid removed, the water pushed out of there, and our sump pump unplugged. We're then going to, we need a nut driver, um, a 5 16th nut driver, okay? And we're going to use this to loosen the bottom. You want to loosen the bottom of the rubber clamp there. And some water, you want to just loosen it a, just a tad bit to allow some of that water there to drain. You must take into account that there is water in this line here. And if you were to remove this, it the water would then start backing down. So if you just tie, um, uh, unscrew it just a little bit, Allow some of that water to drain down, and as it gets, uh, it gets, gets easier and easier to drain. So, the more you, the more you loosen it, the more water will obviously start draining. So, you want to take this part, this part, just a little slow. If I, if you remove and unloosen both of these clamps, water will just start rushing down. So, we want to just take it lightly here and gradually loosen it more. You notice more I lose the more I loosen it the more water tends to flow. Okay. Continue to loosen it and allow give some time for the water to come on out. Now we can go to fully loosening it. I have a bucket here just in case I have a lot of water coming out and looks like we've successfully drained most of the water out of there without necessarily getting it everywhere so now we just have a little bit of water in the main line to deal with so I'm going to get some of the cord out of our way now you just remove our check valve set it to the side Remove the rubber fitting for the lid. Now we can remove the lid. Okay. Look down here. You know we've got a bit of cleanup to do. You know we've got some. Obviously, mud has made its way in here, and so what I'm going to do is first remove this uh, this sump pump, and I'm going to clean it, and then I will fork on cleaning the bottom there okay okay as you take this out there is going to be just a tad bit of water in these pipes so you always basically want to stop doing some of that water back on in there okay all right now I'm gonna use my 516 no driver again we're just gonna take this apart actually Better yet, we'll unscrew this first. 
guess that's really screwed on over. Do some moves here. Just go ahead and clean that up. Make sure there's no mud in our tubes and our PVC there. Give it a nice wipe down. And we'll do the same everywhere here. As you're wiping now the pump, you also want to inspect our lever here. Make sure that it's want to make sure that the lever is operating properly. Make sure that it goes up and falls down naturally. You know, if you are to put this up and it gets caught on something and it falls back down, you know you then need to run some water through the line and run some water through the lever here. But it looks like everything's working perfectly fine. All right, so we'll just continue wiping on down our sump pump. You'll notice that some of this on here isn't necessarily mud at times. It can, it, it's a little bit of rust as well, which is okay. We also want to make sure that there is no mud in our cup of there. Well, basically want to put our PVC back on there. Get tighten up. That's wiped down nice and clean. Now, we just need to shift our focus to inside here. Sometimes there will be a, just a bit of a mud clumped up at the bottom. So using the plaster knife here, you can actually use some of that to scrape the mud up. Because there will usually some be a certain amount of sitting water, so trying to remove mud through sitting water can be a difficult task sometimes. So another thing to help is getting your rag, and you'll notice that sometimes that doesn't clean the best. Sometimes what you'll have to do, you may have to put your pump back in there to move some water out, just so you can go about cleaning up the mud from the bottom. So I'll show you how to do that here. Basically, I'm just going to reconnect a couple back on. I'm going to tighten these back up. I'm going to plug my sump pump back in. I'm going to manually activate so I'll manually activate the lever, push some of the water on out. Sometimes there is just a certain amount of water that, uh, that sits in there and, um, and it's hard to get out necessarily up until it fills back up. So what we can do is just continue to clean the bottom and the outside. By continuing to run your hands using a towel to wipe the inside of it clean. Sometimes when it's difficult to clear the muddy water, or the mud from underneath, simply because there, um, we can't, the water level isn't high enough to move the water out of there, we'll need to fill it up and allow it to flush itself out. Basically, you fill the sump pump up, allow it to do, allow it to run a few times, and in the middle of it running and the water recedes, we can take the time to wipe, wipe back the mud.
we've cleaned the mud up from the bottom. Now all that's left is basically just a little bit of murky water left. Oh, now it comes running fine, so now let's start cleaning up a little bit. Alright, if you want to take a look in there, that, that right there is, uh, even with the water being a tad bit murky, we've gotten rid of the mud. We've wiped down the sump pump and any of the mud that it gathered up along the walls here. So now we just need to put it back together and we'll be good to go. So we'll have to remove this coupling to be able to get it back together. Once again, you want to start with the bottom there and do it nice and slow. Allow some of the water to drain. And loosen the top one as well. And if you don't see it, you'll, you'll sure be able to feel it as it's making its way down, and I'll show you. That is essentially what will happen when you take it off too fast. So, luckily, it didn't spray everywhere, so we're good. Always expect water to come back down as you remove your coupling. So now, 